What's up everybody? It's Andrew with Uni Programmer and welcome to the 17th Java tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you the two string method and how to use it and what it is. So if you've been following along in the past few tutorials we've been building a program that is basically an ATM. It works and functions like an ATM. We have our variables, we have our accounts that we create, then we have our deposit method, withdraw method, and then also our return method, which is uh, for the balance, it returns the balance. And to demonstrate how it worked in the last video, we did some deposits, some withdraws, and we displayed to the screen our get balance method. And it worked and it showed that the balance had changed and everything worked. But there's a better way to show, a more efficient way to show um, the data of an object. And that's what the toString method is. And that's what we're going to be working on. So the toString method is built into Java. It's a default method that returns data of an object. Now, if you don't actually make the toString method, what the method will return is the data location, but like the object's data location. But when you actually create a toString method, which is what we're going to do here, you overwrite that method, and then you can have it return what you want, which is our information of that object. So to create a toString method, you, you actually do it the same as your other methods. So you have public, and the, the whole reason behind the toString method is to return information about your, your object. So it's gonna return a string. And then the name of the toString method is toString, and it has to be toString, because what you're doing right now is actually overriding the default toString method. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a little. So how to use this method is because we want to return the data of this object. So basically, we want, we want it to return the data of each account, right? Let me make some room here. OK. So we're going to create a string. And we're going to set it to, we're going to call it result and just set it to an empty string. Now, one thing I need to do, since I'm going to format this in a, a currency format, I'm going to import something real quick, and it's going to be our decimal format. So I'm going to import java.text, and I'm just going to import all of it. And what that does is it imports everything within the java.text. When the, since the decimal format's in there, or the, the num number format, it will grab that. So now we can use that. Back down to here. So let me create our number format object. And you can type this out just like this. Number format, and then we have our format object equals number format dot, and you'll see all the options. We just want to get currency, because we want our string to be in money format since we're dealing with money in a bank account. So back to the two string method. So what we're going to do is set this result to something specific. And since that's what we want it to return. So result equals. And this is what, where you set what you want it to be. So we're going to do a new line here. So it's backward slash in, remember that's new line. And we want it to format a certain way. So this is gonna be name. And then we're gonna concatenate it with the name variable. And we want it to re also return the account number. So we're going to do another new line because we don't want this all on the same line. So we're gonna backslash in, which is a new line. And then we'll type out account number. 
and then we're going to concatenate that using the plus sign with account num since that's our variable right here and then we need the balance so we're going to backslash in new line and then we will have balance and then finally concatenate that with our balance and remember we're going to format it since we're dealing with money so format we use our format object and then we want to format a double and we want it to be balance and that's all for our result that's what we want it to do now so this is saying that we need to add a return statement now since to string returns something we want to add a return just like we did up here and then the only thing we want it to return is the string that we made that's why it's called to string so we're going to return this string and right here we had a result or we had a string called result we set that string with name account number and then balance and then we are going to return the result all right it's that simple with that to set up that method and now we will see how it works so we're gonna system dot out dot print line and we're gonna call our account one object and let's just call our method to string and you'll see it displayed all of the data it, that we wanted it to display from that object we go here we had result which is our string that we created we set it to an empty string and then you'll see here so result equals right here new line so it would have been up here but we had to go down a line and then we had name within quotations within and then our colon space and then we have the name and the name the variable name is going to be whatever name variable is affiliated or connected with that object so since account one that we made before is right here it's going to be Jack Smith these numbers and then this amount and then after we have the name we have right here we went down a line and then had account number displayed and then we concatenated it with the account num and remember it's going to pull whatever variable is connected with this object and then we went down a line and then had balance and then we concatenated it with our formatted balance which is right here so let's continue and do a couple use a couple methods and then work on the the two string so let's call our same object account one and we will deposit an amount let's deposit five hundred dollars call it again and you'll see that it displayed our data and then it ran the deposit but it didn't actually um, display the new amount because we had it display the data before we did the deposit so let's have it display again there so we have our account Jack Smith these numbers of twenty five hundred dollars we then we deposited five hundred dollars and then we also have it right here and now it has three thousand dollars in it so that just shows that it worked the correct way now we'll do the same thing and we will withdraw so call your object and then use your dot operator and then find your withdraw you can type it out or find it on the menu if you're using Eclipse and then it needs an amount and fee so we will withdraw two hundred dollars and then our fee we'll do three dollars call it again we need our two string to display the new data and you'll see right here we would drew 200 and there was a three dollar fee so it'll be two thousand seven hundred and ninety seven dollars after we did our withdraw and you'll see the two string method it returns 
all the information that we set and that we needed from that object. And since we did create two objects, we can actually display this one too. So account two, which is our second object that we created, our second account. And we'll run that. And you'll see that at the bottom here, account two, which was Jill Jones. See it up here. Um, the account number that corresponds with that account and then the amount which is the balance. It's 5,500, we didn't change that, adjust it at all, so it's still $5,500. Even though we changed this several times, our account two was not affected. Now to show you what the two string method is, because remember it's, the two string method is actually a default method that's built in to Java. So if I don't actually write a two string method, there technically is still a two string method. It's just not written. And when I write one, it overwrites whatever the, the default is. And what the default two string method is, like I said before, it returns the data location. So it returns whatever location that object is. So I'm going to comment this out. And to come to comment out more than one line, like a block of lines, you do it like that. So you're going to do forward slash and then the asterisk and then a backslash and then whatever um, a, another forward slash. There we go. Okay, so now I blocked out the two string method and let's run it the same thing. Let's not have so many things though. Let's see. Let's just do the two string for account one. So if I if I run this method, the two string method, but I don't actually have a two string method because I commented out, let's see what happens. So what it did is it ran, it went to the account one object and then two string. And what that did is it actually gave us the data location because it's a built-in method. And what the location is, it's saying that it's within the account class and then this in computer language is gonna be where that data is stored at. This is the number that the computer uses to retrieve our account object. But when you overwrite the two string method, this is what happens. We now have this. And it goes to the object and then returns whatever you had it return, uh, which is usually used in programming. You're going to return data for an object, whatever data you want to specify. Right here, we need the name and account number and balance. So I hope that clarify um, what the two-string method is. Just remember, it's a default method. And what we do is we overwrite that method and have it return data like specific data from an object. So I hope that helped and I will see you in the next tutorial.